I would say definitely there is more of a focus, um, you know, people doing new build homes to incorporate studies and um, home offices within their homes, and that's just coming out of coming out of the pandemic and, and where we're sort of heading. Yeah. Um, there's a customer that I'm working with at the moment that um, have a study in ev like a, a desk, a designated desk in every bedroom, mm. plus they've got a designated separate office. Mm and another study room. So I think within that house, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight study desks. Wow. So yeah, there's a lot, but that's that's where people are headed because you know people with families are, you know, they've got mum and dad working from home mm. and they've got their kids that need a place to homework. do their homework and yeah. things like that. So, um, and we've just seen it, you know, places that, um, didn't have a designated study area um, and, and then going through the pandemic and the lockdowns, it's difficult. Yeah, the to, dining room table and the it. kitchen bench are yeah. being used for work. Yeah. While yeah. your kids are playing on the floor, like how can you work like that? Yeah, you can't. And so and, and even still now, there's a lot of companies that are okay with people now working from mm -hmm. home because we've had to do it. We've had to adjust that way. So a lot of people a lot more companies are doing it mm -hmm. that way. So that's definitely a big trend that mm. has been included and is a must now to really include in your, in your new build. What I've seen lately is um, indoor outdoor living, mm. um, bringing in plants internally, things to really make your home feel comfortable because we are spending a lot more time mm. at home. Um, you know, I feel too, like, like I was reading a lot of stuff about COVID and mental health and things like that and how we, when we were cocooned mm. during the lockdowns, how much we craved being outside more. Yep. Even just simply sitting outside, or going yep. for a walk yep. was just such a big deal. So that it makes was. complete sense. It, yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, incorporating plants, like <coughs> actual built-in planters even internally mm. is such a big movement that I'm seeing. And also in Brisbane particularly, um, incorporating like resort style pools is becoming mm. quite big. So, I, and again, I think it's because you know, people weren't holidaying during mm. COVID and they, uh, we are spending much more time at home and also even holidaying at home. Mm. So you want to spend your time in this beautiful natural surroundings that's your sanctuary, you know? Yeah. So people are putting in the extra dollars to build us a, a beautiful resort style pool that's fully landscaped and then bringing that internally mm. as well. So um, yeah, I found that to be a bit of a movement. Um, and then in terms of like color trends, Probably, I would say, um, more bold colours like navies, forest greens, dusty pinks and that, and, br and pairing that with some brass or brushed gold mm. or something like that to sort of pop against the colour is what I've seen in terms of, you know, the, the trends. That I are have noticed brass coming back a yeah, little bit more. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, a nice, a nice brass, not, you know, some, mm. are, some are a little bit more yellow, I suppose, but mm. yeah, more of a muted brass I would say is um, yep, what I've seen a lot lately of so yeah and also I would have to say that a big thing that be a movement now moving forward will be um, incorporating smart solutions into your home because there are a lot more um, options out there for us to do that so um, you know smart lighting smart sounds music um, and smart security and locking systems mm -hmm. as well, I think, because, yeah, they're a lot more available at the moment for us. One thing that I really like or want to see become a little bit more mainstream mm -hmm. is a building management system for residential homes that is about passive design techniques. Okay, yeah. So, you know, so like things like night purging that I've talked about in other videos. So you could link up your, your window systems yep. to raining and yeah it's are. raining everything closes yeah yeah you know, it's um it's nice and cool now it's in the evening everything opens lets the breezes through so you're mm. spending less money on air conditioning mm. um it drops down below a certain temperature at a certain time of day you turn mm. your underfloor heating on for a little bit yeah you know that sort of stuff yeah yeah i, I feel like that's probably going to be the, the next, next bit. I, I agree completely Just and integrating them all together yeah and doing it all from your phone Having the option available to us to have um, your lighting, your everything, mm. so you can operate it from your phone. Mm. It, I think it will give me peace of mind knowing that if I'm away from home and you know there's someone there, I can quickly unlock the door for them yep. if they want to, or yeah. make sure that it is locked. And you know, having your security cameras mm. there, it, it just gives you peace of mind. Yeah. And so I think 
moving forward, that's how people want to live too. Peace of mind. Why would you want to worry about it? Yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. This is getting bigger and bigger at mm. the moment, this market. And I think um, there, there is just so much that is coming onto the market as well. It's hard to kind of stay on top of it all. During the pandemic and now after, people, because they are spending more time at home, um, they're wanting to incorporate these sort of things in their home. So there's more, there's things like um, speakers, for example. Talking about that, the Google the, the Smart because and the Alexa and... That's it. Yeah. Central hub and you can pair things back to, you know, you can use it as your music, your lighting, you can speak to it. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much that you can do, and and I think that um, yeah, it, it it's this is going to be a big part of design moving forward on how we um, design our home technically. So becoming so much more available mm -hmm. and affordable for us because prior to that, there was the more expensive versions like you know C bus that all gets hard mm. hardwired in, and yeah. it sort of was like oh you you have to spend a lot of money to get that sort of thing. Like a Whereas, full building management system. Yeah, and it's complicated and it's kind of scary to yeah. navigate that. But um, and, and you do have to engage other professionals mm. to do all of that sort Definitely. of thing because it is another world. Whereas now it's, it's an easier and more affordable to just, you know, you can get your Google speaker and then you can pair it with your lighting and your TV and all of that sort of thing. So it's becoming a lot more easy for us to design around that mm. sort of thing. They're kind of endless what you can do. You can do your speakers, you can do lighting, you can do security systems. You know, there's a lot more things that you can do with that techno technology within your home. There are so many more smart things as well coming to the market. Like I've seen smart dishwashers, smart kitchen taps, uh, smart coffee machines. When's it gonna start and stop it? There's a whole new world out there that I think there's gonna be more and more of it as well as we move forward.